Hi everyone. Inevitably, when learning STAN, most data scientists will eventually say, well, R is great for experimenting and playing around, but I want to use STAN with Python because it integrates with all the other data science tooling that I use. Um, that's a really good point. So that's what I'm going to be demonstrating today, which is how to use STAN with Python. I'm going to be real. Getting STAN to work with Python can be a massive headache. This is because there are lots of configuration options, you know, like which interface to use, which version of Python, which distribution of Python, which operating system, and not all of these configurations work together. So before I show you how to use standard Python, I'm going to try and break it down, break down all of the options that you have really simply for you. So when you use stand with Python, there are really three choices of interface. These are PyStand2, PyStand3, and CommandStandPy. Each of these have various pros and cons. PyStand is a high-level interface with lots of functionality, while CommandStandPy is very lightweight with minimal functionality aimed more at experts. CommandStandPy and PyStand3 have licenses that allow for commercial distribution, while PyStand2 has a GPL license, which is intended more for research. PyStand2 is not maintained, while PyStand3 and CommandStandPy are actively maintained. Now additionally, what options you have available depend on the type of operating system you have. Windows users can only use PyStand2 or CommandStandPy natively, while Linux and Mac users can use all three. So if you're a Windows user, it seems like you get the short end of the straw, since you're restricted to either a super lightweight interface aimed at experts or one that isn't even maintained. Well, there's some good news. If you want PyStand3 on Windows, you can essentially trick your computer to think it's a Linux operating system and then install it that way. This is done through a number of different technologies like WSL2, Hyper-V, or Docker. Um, honestly, it's not the greatest solution for beginners because then you have to be familiar with these technologies, but um, there's certainly a workaround that exists. So in this tutorial, uh, I'm going to focus on getting PyStand2 to work natively in Windows. Um, this might be a bit counterintuitive, but my reasoning is that, in my opinion, PyStand2 on Windows is still the best option for beginners because you don't have to worry about the chat about changing your workflow to accommodate the Linux interface challenge. Um, so even though it's not actively maintained, uh, PyStand2 is still a useful tool and it works just fine. However, don't worry, in the next video I'll run through how to get PyStand3 working on Windows, so all of your bases should be covered. The main instructions for installing PyStand2 come from the docs here. So this tutorial is loosely based on this documentation. Also, if you run into any errors along the way, don't panic. In the last section, I'll go through two really common errors that can happen and how to fix them. So go there for reference. Now, before we begin, you need to get an Anaconda distribution of Python. This distribution is well maintained and it comes with NumPy and SciPy and all of that good stuff. So really shouldn't be too hard to get. Now, we're going to start with an empty command line console. First, we're going to create a new Conda virtual environment. This is the preferred way of creating virtual environments when using the Anaconda Python distribution. By the way, if you're not already using virtual environments, you should be for every new project to avoid package collision. So now would be a good time to start. So now we need to install and configure the C++ compiler. Unfortunately, STAN doesn't work with the Microsoft Visual C++ compiler, also called MSVC, and that's really annoying. So as a workaround, we'll need to use the GCC compiler instead, which we can get from the mingww64 package. To do this, we will install this using the Conda package manager. So type conda install libpython space m2w64-toolchain-cmsys2. So after this, we need to ensure that we've configured our toolchain properly so that it can be used by our environment correctly. And this is where things can get a bit tricky. So first we need to find out where our GCC executable is located. And to do that, you open up Python and import the distutils package and run distutils dot underscore underscore file underscore underscore. And this is going to tell you exactly where the right distutils package folder location is. And you can see for me, it lives somewhere in site packages and setup tools. Then you need to go to that file directory 
Mine is in the C drive and yours might be slightly different depending on where your Anaconda 3 is located. And then you need to create a new text file called distutils.cfg. So this is gonna be the configuration file for distutils. And then you need to type the following, which is build compiler equals mingw32. And this is gonna tell our environment and we're going to configure our environment to use the right C++ compiler when we need it. So after this, we need to install some dependencies. And this is going to be NumPy and Cython. And we'll take this from the Conda Forge channel. So we type Conda install NumPy and Cython dash C Conda Forge. And then lastly, we need to install PyStan, um, also from the Conda Forge channel. Um, so we'll type that in. And click yes for all additional dependencies. So now at this point, we should have successfully installed PyStan 2.19.1.1. So let's verify that. Firstly, open up a Python terminal and type install pystan. Then let's create a simple model, which will be one parameter y with a normal prior. So you can type that in as um, a string parameter and set that to be uh, the variable model code. And then we'll compile the model by instantiating a uh, the stan model class, uh, pystan.stan model and give it the model code parameter. And once you do this, this will probably take around one to two minutes to compile. And assume you don't have any errors, after we can basically sample and extract the samples from the model uh, using the sample and extract methods. Um, once you do that, uh, it'll pop out with some output here, which you can see. Um, and then we can take the average of y, which should be roughly around zero. Now, if you've gotten this far, you should have successfully installed PyStan 2.19.1.1 natively on a Windows machine. However, you might have come across a few errors during this process. So now I'll take you through two really common errors that can happen and what to do about them. So the first common error is that after installing PyStan and during the compilation step, when you try and instantiate the PyStan model class, you get slapped with a warning that says MSVC compiler is not supported. And then a whole bunch of errors around eigenvalues. The reason why this happens is probably because you put your distutils.config file in the wrong folder. When you go into the environment directory, there's actually two distutils folders one in the libs folder and one in the setup tools folder, which is a lot deeper. You want the one in the setup tools folder. Now, once you do that, and once you put your configuration file in the right folder, hopefully that should then force your environment to use GCC instead of MSV. Another common error that can happen during compilation is where it compiles, and then you get slapped with a GCC failed with X status one. Now, there's probably a lot of reasons why this happens, but from what I can tell, it might have something to do with the fact that your version of Python is too high. What I've seen is that when Python is 3.9 or more, then PyStan 2 tends not to install as cleanly as possible. Now, I'm not saying that you can't get PyStan 2 to work with a version of 3.9 or more. Perhaps some of you can figure it out, but if you do want a super clean install, make sure that you're using Python version 3.8 or less. If you do that, then you, shouldn't, you should be able to overcome this GCC failed error and it should um, compile cleanly. Alrighty, so that's it for the video. Hopefully I was able to help you get PyStan 2 installed on your Windows machine. In the next video, uh, I'll go through how to get PyStan 3 running on your Windows machine and also uh, a Linux machine if you have it. So stay tuned for that. If you did like the video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I have lots of tutorials on Bayesian inference, Stan, and how Stan works under the hood. Again, thanks a lot for watching and hope to see you in the next one.